Hey, it's Johnny Mac, and today we're here at Sound Effects with Eddie Soares, and we're talking about car starters. You have an array of them behind us. The temperatures are getting colder. Tell us more about them. Yeah, also let me show you about the, uh, all the different starters that we have and our process for qualifying a customer based on which one that they need for their car. Um, every car can take a uh, different type of starter. Normally, we start out with a one button for most vehicles. Nice and simple, it's the entry level package. Uh, and then if you need a little bit more range, we have options that, like this CompuStar remote, that would tell you that the car has started. So it'll send a signal out and receive a signal back. And then if you need extreme range, we have options where you can start it from your smartphone. So that way you can be anywhere. As long as you have cell service, you'll be able to start your car and know that it's on. John, let's go out back and I'll show you a typical installation, one of the most popular cars we do. Uh, what happens first is the car comes into the bay, it gets checked out for any prior, uh, previous issues, and then we have an installer come in, prep the vehicle to get ready for a uh, technician to come in and install the remote start. First he takes the basic body panels off, and then the technician comes in and he actually installs and uses all 3M grade connections to combine the remote start to your new vehicle. So John, here's a uh, typical layout before they start the job. This is your remote starter before, right when it comes out of the box. And normally what we'll do is the technician will use his tools and the wire diagram that we provide, and he'll turn the starter into this nice prepped unit before it even goes into the car. This allows us to be able to remove it and install it in your next vehicle, because every technician here is trained to do this the exact same way on every starter. How long is the time they need to leave their vehicle here? We usually ask that you leave the car here for the whole day, just because we're normally doing 20 to 30 cars a day. Wow. If you need to, we can always set up a service time for you to wait with the car. Eddie, that was really cool, showing us the process how these remote starters get installed. You can get these installed in both locations, East Providence and here in West Warwick. You can visit you on the web, correct? Yep, you can visit us at uh, www.soundfxonline.com. Eddie, thanks for having us here again. No problem, thank you. Thanks, Pete. All right, I'm going to press the button once. Give the car a couple of seconds, and it's going to start right up.